Um, so I've been a little bit sick lately. Now I'm fine, but I I just came in like this uh, afternoon, so I didn't have that that much time to prepare for the talk. But I hope it's going to go okay, and I hope you bear with me. Um, so, uh, how many of you have used uh, TypeScript? All right, so quite a few, maybe 80%. Uh, and um, how many of you have ever released a, a library on NPM? Also quite a few, that's like 50% maybe. And how many have tried to release a library written in TypeScript on NPM? That's a few less. Yep, that's maybe like 10%. Still, still quite a few. Um, so, um, we probably talked about this already. I'm just going to mention like a few things I think is important. Uh, the first one is that it improves the quality of your code um, by adding the typings. And um, I think the second Im most important thing with TypeScript and all the, the um, uh, type JavaScript variants is um, that it makes your code much easier to understand for others. Um, all right. So um, this is going to be like just focusing on the build process. Uh, I skipped even the linting part because I didn't have that much time. Uh, but if you want to know more that I'm not covering in this talk, you can come talk to me later. I'm going to be at the after party for a while at least. Um, all right. So. For the build process, um, I, I kind of like did some research, and I noticed like basically what I did was I went in um, on various libraries like React, Mobex, and other libraries written in TypeScript, and checked how they uh, build their pro um, how they build their libraries, and like what configurations they use, and then I read like I think like ten blog posts, and then I started like experimenting a little bit like what works the best. Uh, what I found to work the best and um, kind of like the most modern way was um, to use Rollup. Rollup, uh, Rollup is great uh, for building libraries, uh, whereas uh, Webpack is great for building apps. So that's kind of like, I would say that's the difference. Uh, you can uh, probably do, uh, like you can build libraries with Webpack and you can build apps with Rollup, but this is kind of like what I noticed from my research at least. Um, there is a, a TypeScript plugin, but that's a little bit old, and there wasn't like any recent commits, if I remember correctly. Uh, so there is this uh, type uh, TypeScript 2 plugin, uh, which I uh, found to work much better. So I would recommend using that. Uh, also, you probably all know Uglify.js. Uh, so Terser um, is basically a fork of Uglify, and um, it seems to work great, and that was what people were recommending, so, so I went with that, and I would also recommend you going with that. Um, there's like uh, just a small snippet of, of uh, um, just yarn add with all the things you need. This is like the minimal thing you need. You need to install TypeScript, roll up, and, and then the plugin, and apparently I forgot the other plugin, but that's fine. It's roll up plugin Terser for, for the other plugin. Um, so uh, this is the rollup configuration file I used uh, in my latest project, and uh, you can see it imports both uh, both plugins and then also package JSON because we want some information from there. Uh, and it's basically just um, like this object literal, and this like external thing is is just um, to be able to map to different libraries, like if you use React or React DOM or other libraries like that. Um, in my project, I I always put uh, React and React DOM as peer dependencies because otherwise you end up in all kind of version conflicts. So it's one thing to keep in mind. Um, you can build a lot of different um, kind of like output formats uh, with Rollup. Uh, this is kind of like the minimal thing I would recommend. So we have the common JS. Uh, version, and then we have like this ES next version, like ES6 and forward version, and um, that's basically it. There's uh, a lot more. You can find uh, all the information about the configuration in Rollups documentation. 
Uh, then, uh, when you're using TypeScript, we'll need a um, TypeScript config configuration file called tsconfig. Um, there's probably a few things you don't really need, but uh, this is kind of like my version that I use. Uh, so, I think the most important thing here is uh, you have this like declaration true, which means that it will generate the TypeScript uh, declaration file, you know, like index.d. Uh, JS, um, and then it's going to put it in a, a folder called dist. It can be anything. Um, then, uh, if you're using uh, React, then you need the JSX React, and also um, there's this like uh, we're building from the module is ES Next, and the module resolution is Node. We saw that like module res resolution in a talk earlier as well. Uh, I just like no implicit any. That's kind of like I try to avoid any as much as possible. And then also it's going to output the built result into the dist folder. And um, that's basically it. Uh, target as ES5. So, um, yeah. This is probably pretty standard. Quite a few of you have used uh, TypeScript anyway. So, um, then uh, a few utilities I use. This is not like TypeScript specific or anything, it's just a uh, node. Uh, so I usually use uh, RimRef and MK uh, MKDRP. So what uh, RimRef does, does anyone, how many of you have used RimRef? Okay, quite a few. Uh, it's basically RF, um, RMRF, so it removes a director, uh, directory recursively. And that M uh, MKDRP is what it says. It's like uh, the um, MKDRP uh, in Node. Same thing. It creates uh, directories uh, recursively if need be. Um, then here is like um, part of the package JSON I used. So uh, first you have the name and the version, and then you have this like main. Um, and because we're uh, building, we can see like we have here the main. So here, uh, that's going to be the output file for the common JS. It uses the package JSON dot main, and then the ES um, version uses the package uh, JSON module property, and that was uh, its index dot ES dot JS. And um, then I tried googling. Um, if you need both the module and the JS Next main, I've done this many times, and I came to a kind of like conclusion that it's uh, just safer to include both, even though it's kind of the same thing. And then you need this, um, you need to tell that the type, where the types are, and it's the types property. Um, and uh, also like here in compiler options, we said that it's gonna be put into the dist folder, so that's what we're gonna use. And um, everyone who's released something to NPM knows what file is, is but, but that's basically what you're gonna publish when you uh, do the um, when you when you run yarn publish or NPM publish. And uh, basically, with all this configuration and everything, the build script is just uh, running like removing the disk directory, recreating it, and uh, building with using the rollup configuration. Um, and then it's ready. Then you can just uh, use npm publish or or yarn publish. And um, what you're basically going to get when you build, you're going to get the index.js file, the index.es.js uh, file, the declarations, and then the declarations for each. Uh, like if you have, let's say you have three React components, uh, separate files for each of those. And uh, once you publish and you install it in a uh, in another project, you you can see that all the auto completion and everything works. So this is kind of like the short version. There's probably like could have a much much longer talk on this this, but I thought that this might even get people started and maybe people hyped to start uh, publishing uh, TypeScript modules or libraries on on npm. Yep, that's it. Thanks. You can follow me on Twitter. All right.